everybody, it's Kim from K Diamond Paints. Welcome to my channel. And if you're a subscriber or returning, I thank you so much. Golf clap for you guys. I have an absolute beast of a package here from GBFKE. And I am going to guarantee right now that there is no way, absolutely no way to get through all of this in one sitting. I don't know if I'm going to do two, just get through what I can. I don't know. But look, right when we open it up here, look, they have a little blue wax. Look at it in a cute container. I love these containers. They're so much fun. Yeah, a little blue wax in there. And then, that's cute. That's good for traveling, right? Look at this pen. I'm going to quick look this up really quickly to see what that says. Okay, I just took a quick second to look it up because this is, this is really interesting. Do you see that? It says anti-fatigue elbow point for drill placing. And then it has a three placer on the other side with a pink grip. So, you know, I'll give it a try. I had a bent nose tip once, but this is more extreme than that. And I really enjoyed the bent tip. So I'll give it a try and let you know how it goes. If you're new to my channel, GBFKE sends me these diamond paintings. They just send me a bunch and I don't know what, oh my gosh. I don't know what is in here. So it's fun for me and you. We get to check it out together. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. We, let's just, I mean, we just got to start. Okay, I'm going to go for a new Olympic event, which is going to be speed diamond painting unboxing. It's kind of large. They have typically just a regular toolkit, just like this for each and every one of them. Works just fine. Here's the packaging. It has the corresponding number for the canvas and then the canvas code. So you can store them separately. Look at this is really pastel -y. It looks real Eastery. So let's see. Maybe we're behind in the seasons or. Oh, this is. Um, the name, the name, the name, you guys. Um, Precious Moments, right? Precious Moments? It's a whole group of Precious Moments, kiddos. Look at them. That is really clear. Wow, that's a 40 by 40. Here's the thumbnail. Hopefully, I'll be able to find all of this for you so I can put up an image and a price. Here is the key. Let me pull this plastic back. It's making it a little shiny. There is a little bit of sparkle in this canvas. All right, now let's see how many colors we have. This has 22 colors. And here, it's a little bit, oh, it's gonna be a patterned background. So maybe like wallpaper, see that? And no guide circles. Very cute. I wonder, what is that right there? Is that a cup? Is it a stump? Hopefully you were able to see what it said on the, it says 30, does it say 35? I have no idea what that means. Very interesting. Okay, let's look at some drills. I'm not gonna really be able to stop and smell the roses much on this one. We'll just, I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can. I think the last video that I had from them was 41 minutes. And I cut a lot out of that. I cut a full diamond painting out of that. So I am just going to try, but I always like to show the drills. I love seeing drills. Some, I think sometimes people have a preference for, it's the canvas they really wanna see, it's the drills they really wanna see. Um, I want to see them both personally. So sometimes when you have unboxings and people say, oh, you've seen drills before. I'm like, no, but I haven't seen those specific drills. I know I've seen this iced green mint color a million times. Oh, 
butter, you guys. Parquet. But not this time around. I don't know. I have a fetish for drills. They're so cute and little and pretty and colorful. There's a mustardy color that's very cool. And then probably some 3865, but not as much as I thought would be there for that background. All right, well, this is what we've got for one. Let's keep going, right? This one seems bigger. I like this new weight instead of trying to shove it in and having the end open. They've been doing this where they, can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> where they put a bag over a bag. Oh, and I think that works out well, except when they leave the tape on this side, you guys, so it doesn't stick on. Here we go. Oh, that's so funny. Didn't I just say stop and smell the roses? <laughs> it's roses. <laughs> That'll show me. Oh, this is the individual bagging one. It has the corresponding number, the DMC. What is that? Is that the weight? Is that how many? That's how many. Wow, there's a lot of information on here. Look at this toolkit. Oh, this is really different. Um, I think I had this in the last GBFKE opening where it's it's very different, right? Because this is um double-sided adhesive and not they've got a different vendor that they're working with. So white boat, just a huge amount of wax, and then we have pen with a 10 placer and then a four placer with the single placer a grip and then the super nice um you know death stab tweezers these are gonna be what did i say before about it's there's gonna be a movie about crafters and they set them into a ring and they fight to the death with tweezers I think I need to open this this way. Oh, if there are more like this, this takes so much more time to open. We're gonna have to go even faster. Okay, I'm sort of in. I've got tape and just stuff everywhere. Uh, these are like um, hua can, you guys. So they have these big keys on them that have everything. You don't need an inventory sheet. So it's going to be a 40 by 40. And if you can see here, so it's got the number, the symbol, the DMC, and then the quantity that you need running all the way down. And then so here's our thumbnail. Okay, and they're on. Whoa, focus. There you go. It's on a foam roller. With double-sided adhesive, if you look at the backs, see how nice and clear this back is? There's no ripples, because sometimes you can get ripples or folds and things like that on the back. So if you look at the back first, you can kind of get a sense that, okay, this is gonna be a good one, but oh, I just don't feel that they need to be rolled this tightly. Oh. It makes me kind of crazy. Here is the trick to getting these to stop. If you're going to store them, though, if you're going to store them all folded up, don't re... Don't re-roll. Don't re-roll double-sided adhesive. It's just going to start creating problems with the stick on this. So if you just... Oh. I'm going too fast. I just ripped it a little bit. If you just pull up on the ends a little bit, you don't have to rush it like I was trying to do. And just pull it back a little bit and then lay it down again. It'll help take out this crazy roll. So now let's try this side without me ripping it more. Come on up. Nope. A little bit. There we are. And this side, the canvas looks amazing. 35 colors. Wow. I don't typically like um, the flower arrangements when they're on these solid backgrounds. I like the flowers when 
it's a photo of them or a rendering of them out in nature but this looks really pretty wow the colors look really nice oh this is tough oh i've been dealing with um poured glue for so long i'm losing my talent for pulling this stuff up here we go i haven't ordered from aliexpress much i did that deer but besides that no i haven't been oh did you hear it tear again here we go got it oh, and this is is it squares i think it's squares Hold on, one more side, and then we can actually get a look at the canvas. I'll open it up for you to see. Okay. Okay, so now that I have all four corners up, you can see how it'll lay flat and not be in just such an exhausting trial to get. I can't wait to show you this. I mean, I know you saw the thumbnail in the picture already, but look at this canvas. I'll open it up as far as I can without ruining it. Oh, you see, isn't, yes. That, oh, this is some great stick here. This is more towards, this is like stick stick. You'll still be able to move stuff around on it, but this isn't anywhere near a skater glue. Let me pull it up so you can see the drill field. Oh, this canvas is, this was their canvases last time too that I just opened up from GBFK. These are beautiful canvases for double-sided adhesive. There are, it's absolutely clear. There's no ripple. I mean, they're just pristine. You can see how nice the symbols are. 35 colors is going to be great for this price. And let's try and lay it down nice and flat. These look so pretty. I do not have a preference for square or round, but I don't typically do two square in a row because they can be a little bit more tedious. Not tedious. Yes, tedious. What do you want to say? Time consuming? Because tedious is a negative word. It's not negative, but it is just more time consuming. Look at how pretty. Look at those colors. They look gorgeous here. So here's some lighter colors. Sometimes with lighter colors, you can get a really good picture of the backs. Or just the sides. Just getting a good look at the drills to see. There was a time when drills were really popping the squares and they were having lots of, sorry, I was examining it for myself, lots of troubles. Um, I don't know if that still happens. I think um, what I've had for popping is because they were different sizes. So they didn't fit into the space. They used to have pieces on the side. Through production, it's like they weren't clean cut. And so those edges and pieces wouldn't allow them to sit nicely together. We have to count to what do we need, everyone? Anyone? Anyone? Survey set. Oh. <laughs> Okay, 35 beautiful, colorful drills here. I don't know what more we could ask for. Let's keep going. I need a break already. Here's a little one. Let's try a little one. It doesn't bode well that I need a break already because I don't even know. I didn't count. Did anybody see? There's more. There's more. This feels like a special shape. Sure enough. Toolkit. See some special. Those look like some special, special shapes in there. Not just rhinestones. Let's see what we've got. Oh, how funky! Jellyfish. Wow. Do you see this? Look at the key. There's the key there. But look at how many. That seems. Oh, I can't see a thing with all that shine. There's 17. 
Doesn't that seem like a lot for a partial? Like 10, 11, 17? I don't know. But yeah, look at... There's going to be a lot in there. This is a real partial, though. Look at all this. That's a lot of blank canvas on that. That's going to shine pretty. I love that background. Sometimes the canvas is in the background. I don't like. They're so plain. But this is pretty. It looks like you can see other jellyfish in the background. Is that too much glare? Let's check out. I want to see these. Because they're rhinestone shape, but very large. Okay. Oh, geez. Shaking. So even this is just like a clear... Oh, here. Let's just do that from the start. So even this that's a clear, it's larger than just a regular rhinestone. And here's a smooth um, top teardrop, red teardrop. See how big? They're like a rhinestone, but they're so big. Oh, look at this one. So these two are like the same color, but different sizes. <gasps> Look at this purple. Is, do anybody, do you have, people have preference for some partials and special shapes? I don't really choose them that often. I do full, oh, that is such a pretty pink. But again, these are not, they're smaller than these, but these are still bigger than regular rhinestones. Here. That's a regular rhinestone. Can you see that? If I hold real still, can you see that? So this is a regular rhinestone, and this is just a little bit bigger. Oh, so pretty blue. Oh, look at these big yellows. This is fun. But for a special shape, this one seems awfully fun. And ready? It is stuffed full of purple. And here, I always call this one broken disco ball. Is that what it looks like? And then a whole ton of pink. Wow, so not only are there 17, but there's a lot here. That was a real pretty one. This seems bigger. See, this is the better way to do that, to keep the tape on it so nothing sticks on this end. Thanks, guys. We have... So this is interesting. This is paper but it's like this is this poured glue or double-sided adhesive because we have this toolkit again so we have a four can you see that four placer and white boat and tweezers lots of wax there's a ten placer in there they're individually wrapped and squares, but now we've got this whole, and it still has the tape around the center, which I am going to perform some delicate surgery on. Okay, that's not gonna work. Super delicate surgery. Absolute. Because it's sticking to this. That is some sticky stuff. Okay. There we go. So I have heard told of stories. It's on a roller. Of. Let's flip it over. Oh my goodness. Home. I have heard stories of double-sided adhesive that comes on plastic. That just can't be what this is, though. This just, oh, is really behaving like, it's really behaving like poor glue. That's just really throwing me off. I don't know. Oh. And this one rolled up here and is down the wrong way. Okay. I don't know. I know there was some way to tell when it was clear plastic and double-sided adhesive. But honestly, I didn't really pay attention in school to that part. Want to look at the key? 40 by 50. 
And it's got that same kind of, oh, I'm sorry. This is just, it's unwieldy. So you've got the same thing where it's got the number and the code and the DMC and the quantity. And it has again, how many colors? Oh, there's 45 colors. 45? You guys, what's the price on this thing? 45 colors of 40 by 50 at the price that I think it's going to be. That is pretty fantastic. Okay, I just give me a second. I don't know why this is so troublesome. Look, because it doesn't look troublesome. It lays beautifully. Okay, now let me bring you up so you can see the drill field without me just freaking out and ruining the whole thing. Look, you can see all the colors. It's, there's a lot in there. It didn't look like that when I first unwrapped it. I'm like, how can there be 45 colors in here? But it looks great. It's going to be squares with the key. Wow, this is really cool. I don't know. I have just got to put this down. You know what? It's this plastic is so flimsy. I think I'm either going to put parchment on here or I sometimes I have a couple of pieces of plastic from other diamond paintings um, that I knew it was really good. So I just kept it. Oh, and look at in the shading of the letters. See that in the shading of the letters like right through here. Look at those colors. <gasps> Let's look at the drills. Before we go look at the drills too, I just want to say this canvas is really light. It's really thin and it's not pliable like you're thinking, like when people say, oh, you can just bend it, but it is just one notch above that. It's so thin and pliable. Whose is this? Okay, here we go with 45 colors. This might be where this video ends. This might break me. This is a lot. That is so pretty. Okay. Come on out, everybody. 45 is a lot of colors, I think, for a diamond painting at these prices. And they are so pretty. Look at the um, 550. And, oh, look at this huge bag. It says 6,875 of, what color is that? Three seven seven zero. There, that's a whole screen full of pink. Oh, look at this green! I love this green. This is just some. I've seen that image. Of course, you've seen that image, right? You see that image everywhere. But honestly, that's what I think with some of these diamond paintings. One, it's overexposure because you see it every everywhere you go, right? And then two is that I don't think they show up on, on a listing picture as well as they do in person because you get this in person and these colors are so pretty and vibrant. And then like you saw with the canvas, it has so much um, confetti in it that the image is going to be so clear that I just don't think they show up as well on... A listing as they do in person. I'm going to count really, really, really fast. 45 was most of that off of screen. Wow, how rude. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I feel I have another one in me. Mostly because it's so interesting to see. Now I'm intrigued by that one. So if you could get something like a hula can or an Evershine and it came in poured glue, would that change your mind? Here it is again. Where are they getting these things from? I'm so intrigued. Now, I don't mind double-sided adhesive at all, but I know some people are just, I mean, they treat it like the plague for the love of Pete. I shouldn't use that reference right now. They treat it like the measles. Does that help? That doesn't help at all. Good toolkit. Same thing with the squares and the bagging. And this is again. 
I've never had, I've had two Hula Cans, and the reason I say Hula Can and Evershine, you guys, in case you've never ordered from those companies, this key like this, this large key is really kind of a signature for them. So that's why I'm guessing that. But um, their prices are, well, just like GBFKE, they're so fantastic on their pricing. For this kind of clarity and poured glue, and squares, I mean, great canvas. I don't know what else you're asking for around here. Okay, again, it's on, it's on a roller. And let's flip it over. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, what is, this is a 50 by 40. Let me try to get it all the way open there. Ugh. Do you see that? That is a blue scale, not a gray scale, a blue scale lion. Oh, again. So here's the thumbnail. Let me just show you this. This is another one that just shows you who it's from, right? Because the... Um, when the pictures like this landscape and portrait, that's just another sign that it's from them. I don't know. So I would never, it's not my style. This, a lion like that. I usually go for forest animals. Um, and then here's this beautiful key. How many colors are in this one? And again, so just looking at the listing photo, I wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards this. But how many colors? Um, oh, 35. And look at the canvas. Look at all the detail. 35 colors, 50 by 40. Oh, it's, it is really, if you like lions, because this, as I said, that's just not my jam. This guy is stunning. He is so, uh, oh, I really like it. I really like it. This is another reason why I, I just, I think it's great that GBFKE chooses these and send them to me because I would never choose this. And he is really beautiful. He is really beautiful. So I like that. They just offered again for me to choose my own. So I'm going to do that. And it's not that they've ever not. I've just always said, you guys choose and send me what you want to show. And I think it's a great system because otherwise it's going to be all deer all the time, you guys. It would really be all K Diamond Paints Deer is what I would really name my channel. <gasps> Do you like blue? If you like blue, oh my gosh. If you like blue and lions, this is the exact center of your Venn diagram. Let me tell you, look at this. It's every shade of gorgeous, beautiful blue that there is. And then I think this is just his nose. Look at what his nose is going to be. Magenta pink. Oh, there's a little bit of this. Was this his eyes? and some lavender so like a blue to a lavender scale is this 154 154 it's really a dark one see that it's almost brownish not but you know it's got like a brownish to it i'll count them real quick yay everything is here did you see the one bag? It's so stuffed full. Oh, where is it? This one. This is just stuffed full. Is it $7.92? I was going to guess $9.39. That's too light for a $9.39, but I'm sure $9.39 is in here somewhere. There's not a... Oh, look. There it is right there. Oh, this is a beautiful navy $9.39. Okay, I think this is a good stopping point because he is just absolutely gorgeous. And now we have this whole new realm to look at. These diamond paintings that look like a certain company, but they are 
poured glue. I just have to think it's poured glue, you guys, because look, you can bend it backwards and forwards. It's not, there's no, there's no wrecking it. You know, it doesn't have that feeling like it feels like poured glue. So I don't know what else to say. I know usually, okay. Anyway, it's fantastic. It's really great. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, GBFKE, for coming through again with some gorgeous diamond paintings. Everybody have a wonderful day, okay? Bye-bye.